All right, hello my loves. My name is Hannah if you do not know me and if you do, I'm sorry. Today's video is going to be about my Filtrum or Medusa piercing, whichever one you want to call it. Um, it's going to be the first five days and how it swelled and everything. Like me talking about the rest of the healing process and aftercare. First on with the first five days. I got my Medusa pierced last night. You can see it is a little swollen and yeah so it is definitely a little swollen from what I can tell. It wasn't hardly swollen at all last night or like right after I got it done. It did start getting a little bit painful um, like after I ate. Like we went, I went and got it done. Me and Dakota went to dinner. And after that, it was a little bit tender, but not bad. So before I forget to film later, because since I'm, I'm at work, so I'll probably forget. Um, I just wanted to document how swollen my lip is. Um, not gonna lie, I don't hate the way it looks, but um, it looks a little ridiculous on me. So yeah, but I was really worried I was gonna not like it, but um, you can see. It's pretty swollen, but so I'm gonna say this is day three because um, I got it pierced so late in the evening when I got it done, and um, still a little swollen, but not bad. Um, swelling's pretty down a whole lot. It does swell more when I eat. Um, last night, like I worked yesterday, and after my shift, we came home and cooked dinner with my brother. And um, my swelling was down until we actually had dinner, and then it went back up. But you can see swelling still there, but not like it was yesterday. Yesterday it was super swollen when I woke up. But uh, yeah. Good morning. It's day four. I got out of bed today, that's all I've accomplished, but it's only like 9 a.m. But, um, I thought when I looked in the mirror that the swelling was almost gone, but looking here, it looks like I might be wrong. Yeah, not nearly as swollen as it has been. So it's day five, and looking straight on, I don't feel like there is very much swelling at all sorry about the background i'm at work but um there's not really very much swelling and i can super tell that because there's actually space between my lip and the ends of this bar but um from the side my stuff is basically normal i'm super 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 stoked that the swelling is basically gone i'm not talking as different as i was um Maneuvering my lip around is kind of difficult still. It doesn't necessarily hurt. Actually, it doesn't hurt like at all, but it just gets caught on my gums or on my teeth because the bar is so long. So whenever it's done swelling, I'm just gonna switch it out. But I'm super excited. I super still love it. So it's been about like two or three days short of a month since I've got mine pierced. As you can see, the ball is gone. I lost it at work about a week ago. I'm gonna put chapstick on. So I lost it at work about a week ago. I was in the middle of helping a bunch of people, and when it finally slowed down, I realized there was no longer a ball there. But it's kind of cool. Like, ball, the bar is super long which made sense because it was accommodating for the swelling in the beginning. It healed beautifully, I think. The first couple days I was pretty swollen, as you've seen, but other than that, I did think that it healed quite nicely. Um, I haven't had any swelling or any issues at all since the first, like, four days. I got some Bioplast bars to put in my face because they're supposed to help. Um, they're not supposed to be so damaging to your teeth, and they're just more comfortable, and all kinds of different 
nice things about them. So, one so tiny that it's literally too small to be in my face because it will just slip right back through the hole. It's probably not gonna focus at all. But you can see how teensy weensy they are. The other one, the other one I have next to it is the same thing. It's just a little bit bigger on the end. So I'm gonna show you. There's what it looks like without nothing in my face. So yeah, these are perfectly sized for my lip. Because if you can see, it doesn't, it's like not visible. You can see I have a hole in my face, but you can't see the little thing. And yeah, so there's that cute littleness. The only complaint I do have is that it appears at an angle, which I don't know if it's supposed to be, but I wish it wasn't. If my lip was pulled out like this, it's not pierced straight down. It's pierced like out like this a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just enough to be noticeable. As far as like the healing process and taking care of it goes, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I am quite lazy when it comes to my piercings. The first week I was using the soap I was supposed to be using um, and making sure I rinsed after every meal and anytime I drank anything that wasn't water, if I do notice that it is getting a little bit irritated, I do put the bar, the longer bar in that I got pierced with. I put that one back in my face just to um, let it breathe a little bit, I guess, because these are quite snug. These are quite snug to my face. It's not uncomfortable by any means. It's super, super, super comfortable, if anything. It's just um, the longer bar gives it more room to breathe. See, the one I got pierced with, which is this silver one here, is significantly longer than the Bioplast. There you go. There's a little bit about my filter on reducer piercing, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!